And the national government has warned of stiff penalties on people who have encroached land on flooded lakes in the Rift Valley. Wildlife Principal Secretary Professor Fred Sigor says a technical committee formed to establish the lakes phenomenon will make its recommendations next month, adding that initial investigations had indicated that those affected were to blame for loss of life and property. Lake Bogoria, Lake Nakuru are among five water bodies affected by flooding in a phenomenon yet to be discovered. The national government has instituted a technical committee to establish the latest occurrences which has caused a lot of suffering to locals residing along the water bodies. Wildlife Principal Secretary Professor Fred Sigor says the committee will undertake fact-finding tours to all the five flooded lakes in Rift Valley Sigor further warned that action will be taken on those who have encroached on land around the flooded lakes. Uh, the mission will be ending next week and thereafter they will be expected to write a report. And when this report is ready, it will be discussed in the, the normal uh, government uh, forum in form of cabinet so that we see how some of the issues, the challenges which have arisen as a result of these rising lakes will be, will, be, will, will, will be handled. Speaking at the Kenya Wildlife Service Training College in Ivasha, Sigar said heavy rains have also caused flooding in Takwal Dam and Lake Turkana, displacing tens of families and destroying properties. Because they are part of the Rift Valley, there are also issues affecting also those two other counties in Turkana and West Pokot. And so this team will uh, prepare for us a technical report which we will use uh, for the government to see uh, what kind of solutions we will offer. Irene Mchuma Odim, Channel One.